I know. <sighs> Good morning, this is the Midlands Rider. And today, this little video is about what do you keep in your garage? Well, as you can see, I'm sorting stuff out. I basically, I to strip the cupboard to get more stuff out. I don't have a garage, but I do have a fair set of tools. Let's start over here. I have various spare parts like air filters, brake pads, got a spark plug somewhere, you know, odds and ends. Got a funnel to put oil in, got spare oil, more spare oil, but it's a different brand that I like to mix them. Deionized, de ionized water for batteries. I've got carb cleaner, Poundland's crap. Stuff to wash my bike with. There's oil, brake fluid, paint for exhaust or whatever. Nearly empty can of brake cleaner. I'll go through this stuff like mad. WD40, and what it all sits in is the oil dry drain pan. The reason why I do that. It's just a st because when I'm walking and whatnot, if any of these leak, they get caught in this. So that's in there. It all fits in quite nicely. Obviously, don't put brake pads in there because you don't want oil to soak into your brake pads. <sighs> right, this is for the spare parts. I'll pass this there. Indicator lenses, exhaust gaskets, mirrors, wire, paint brushes, random stuff, mainly household stuff to be honest. I need to get a separate crappy toolbox to put my arm spares in. My arm lots of bolts in. I have a screwdriver set bought these because they were cheap and they're insulated so it's not too bad if we work with mains and whatnot. A little wet actually last time I got them out of the water, you see. Still. Still a good set of tools. Silver line. I make I do recommend. This is a piston pushback tool. <sighs> No, it's not for your pistons and your engine, it's for brake pads to push back the pistons inside your brakes. Always worth investing in them, I've got different types of them. Then you've got this, it's a vacuum pump but I use it to bleed brakes. Not bad bit of kit, and again I do use everything I own. That's a Dremel, basically, but it's not mine. It's Pleb Martel Vlogs. Now move on to my tool kit. What's well, a my tool box, which is the big thing. I have a magnetic tray. Because losing your parts is a bastard, and for the sake of a couple of quid, there's no excuse. Try and get black, if you can. If you can't get me yellow, but you get dirty. And they turn black anyway, so just get a black one. In here, I have screwdrivers and multimeters. A multimeter, I've only got the one. That's my multimeter. And there's my screwdriver. Spare pop for my alarm for the bike. And just general bits and bobs. Not too bad, really. I have this is to remove oil filters off any car or bike as long as it fits in there it can be removed. Nylon bushes, spark plug reasons, nuts that should really go in that one. I have small fuses, you know the mini blade fuses. They're about five quid for a pack. 
no excuse not to have any then I have your standard fuses alright I've got little odds and ends draw bits mainly toolbox buddy for your toolbox I think now for your, your hinges and shit copper grease another piston pushback tool torx keys old fashioned additional torx keys they seem pretty strong to be fair I like the fact they're round so it doesn't hurt your hand and I've got a T-handle torx keys again from Silverline random little set of keys that so going there really and I've got rubbers, standing knife, a knife cable ties in there I've got a soldering iron wire connectors and a trickle charger for my batteries as well as solder I'll keep it in that box because it keeps it nice and tidy even though it's a mess in there it can be a mess in there but it's nice and tidy Alright, right, these are my spanners that I don't use because they're in Imperial. But you never get rid of them because you never know. You might come look here and find one that fits what you need. It's kind of a fucking huge. These are the spanners I do use. Metric. The biggest I've got at the moment is 23, and the smallest is that one, which is a 6. So my spanners are only from 6 to 23 at the moment. I'm gradually building them up. I need to get a new top box so as you can see they're not really fitting in here. I have wire crimpers and a micrometer. It's a cheap one, so that's how the box is crap. I have three different sizes of I should have, yeah, three different sizes of clamps. I have more cable ties, which are on the top really. I have pliers for different lengths. I have wire cutters. You only really need one pair of wire cutters, really. They're next to useless, they're so you can hold on to nuts and bolts, but they're next to crap. These are the beasties. A lock, adjust a lot. C spanner for suspension. Digital pressure gauge. Tire pressure gauge, sorry. Then we have a chain link remover. All cable ties. Tire tread deck gauge. Hang on, it's even red for uh, you need to change the tyre. Millimetre, one millimetre basically. Two millimetre. Just start thinking about changing the tyre. Basically what that says. I've got this one. Alright. Imperial sockets, again. I don't throw them away. Because I know I might need them one day. But then pump with the rest because it makes finding the uh, metric ones impossible. Then we have these. Now these look like knackered brake pads, which they are. But I slide these in because they are knackered in the brakes. So I can get my piston push back tool, push them out. Without damaging new pads. Spare backing plates to the extra random cable ties world's smallest adjustable spanner never used it, I paid 2 quid for it like it says there 100mm heavy duty you mean the first time I use it and I'll snap it valve remover for your tyres no idea what's that from straw for WD-40 ok, 
Right, anyway, sockets, all different sizes, all different size wrenches, all different size sockets. You know what I mean? And I'll go from small, medium, large, yeah? Small, medium, large, small, medium, large. Sockets for spark plugs, and then Allen key sockets. What more do you need to know? So, yeah. That's pretty much all my tools. Probably got more lying around somewhere, but there you go. Thank you for watching.